I'm probably too tired to be recording this, but I need to get this up. This is two and a half hours of video that's been edited down to 27 minutes and 38 seconds. This is a blackout seed, and you see I can't get the chunks to load so I can get the preview, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I did use my TD test again because this is a blackout seed. My computer's not going to like this at all. I just went ahead and uh, chopped my way down from this tree so I'd have extra wood for, oh, torches and whatever else I need. So I just chopped my way down. I edited out all kinds of mob battles and everything else. Mostly what this is is just me gathering resources that are necessary toward the bingo card. Uh, here's the first spawner I found. There's also a zombie spawner nearby. But I got so busy running around that I forgot to go back and look. Look, a golden apple. I don't even know what enchantment that is. Uh, didn't even look. So what I've done is I've cropped it down to just me gathering the resources. If you look very carefully in this video, you will see something that I've been doing for oh, two years now that I didn't know was a thing. Oh, I, I think that Brian has made cows as scarce as diamonds and chickens as scarce as gold, and he's up the number of creepers. This is Creeper Alley, man. I lost count of how many creepers there are here. He was about seven in one hallway in one little mine shaft. Don't get it. Anyway, yeah, look at that. Uh -huh. That's the same uh, little tunnel. Amazing. So I've edited it out to just the interestingest stuff because you didn't want to watch two and a half hours of video and I sure worked my little behind off uh, cutting it down for you. Oh, if you look really carefully in here, you will notice something about me and the way I play the game that I didn't know was a big deal until I started watching YouTubers, which I didn't do the first year and a half I was playing the game. I had no outside influences. I was my only influence pretty much. All the people I played with on that first server, but I didn't play on any other servers. And when I stopped playing with them, sheep attack, and just started playing on my own, I didn't have any outside influences. So it's about bait ores. It's about skeleton shot that poor sheep jerk. Um, it's about the ores that hide other stuff. They either obscure passageways dungeons, strongholds, whatever, or yes, my boats are purple. Um, I took off and went away. I guess I could have looked for that zombie spawner, but I was, I don't know. I don't know how I think. I just do the best I can. And here I got back in when the boat broke. Um, so keep an eye on the bait ores, uh, which are coal and iron particularly. And i kind of perturbed about the way we can see through the world now. Okay, uh, I had quite a long battle with ender people and it took a long time for me to get my pearl and then after that I was so frustrated and aggravated by how long it was taking with this game and I can't pause it or the mechanisms will mess up and so I couldn't take bathroom breaks or stretch or anything. Once I'm committed to this I just have to keep going. And this seems through the world thing, I don't know Brian if that's a... 1.8 glitch or if it's happening because uh, I don't know but I'm seeing to the world a lot just so you know that that's a thing um so keep an eye on bait ores because you're going to see in here that that's how I get a ton of gold I'm not going to say anything about it in the description or anything because my experience has been that because I'm sort of a maverick and a lone wolf and have been playing on my own for quite a long time and think about the game differently than other people and conceptualize it differently than other people who have influenced each other. You know, that's not the way we do it. What do you mean that's not the way we do it? There's no wrong way to play Minecraft. I do have good ideas and I've seen more than one good idea get stolen by more prominent people in the Minecraft community and I didn't get credit for it. In fact, I sort of got shunned and isolated because well, the people didn't have enough personal integrity to admit that it wasn't their idea and then they wanted me out of the way so that I couldn't make them look bad, you know. So, 
I'm a little worried about giving this information out because it's very useful to me and I just would like to get credit for it. So if you start using this technique of mine, I would appreciate if you would say, oh yeah, this is something I learned from Granny Gamer 1 and maybe link back to me. So as I'm doing this deed, I know as I was editing it, not as I was recording it, but as I was editing it, I found out that I'm doing last month's seed. I was trying to get the video up as quickly as possible on Brian's uh, Minecraft Bingo subreddit because the liked ones... See, I've dropped my shovel and I can't pick it up. This is going to be a problem. Dropping items and not being able to pick them up. It's going to be an ongoing problem. Watch this Enderman fall down the hole. Silly doofus. Come here, come here, come here. Watch. Derp. This is going to happen with the other one, too. There's another one down there. What? Oh, yeah, the subreddit. People like things on the Reddit, and when they do that, those things go to the top, and other things go to the bottom. And, of course, I just figured out I could play bingo and record it and put it on the Reddit. So my little offering got down at the bottom. I don't think people saw it because it was so late in the month when I did it, and because it only had... I think it now has three lights, but I know, see, this one just, I think that one completely disappeared because it fell in water. So I'm thinking that um, it would be nice to be able to put videos up sooner so they don't disappear on the bottom, but apparently the blackout bingo is going to be later than everybody else's too because this is last month. It took me two and a half hours to complete the map, almost three, and it took me all day today and a good deal of last night to edit the video. So I'm a little burned out on Blackout Bingo. Well, I've already said this a number of times. The farther I go in one of these bingo games, the more my computer starts getting freezy. And I mean not just the game. Uh, there have been several times when I've been playing practice blackouts where see bait ores. Look underneath. See the gold? It was a whole vein of eight. Eight's the maximum you can get in the vein? Yeah. Didn't look like much. It looked like gravel, and then I dug out the gravel, and it looked like a little bit of iron, and I dug out the iron, and there was the gold. This is, you're going to see this happen a lot. It's down here at this level that that's true. At the higher levels, the bait ores will expose you to, like I said, dungeons or strongholds or additional parts of the cave or abandoned mine shafts or maybe another ore once you get low enough. But uh, down here, bait ores, look at this one. Coal, iron, redstone, and then gold. I'm going to end up with over three blocks of gold, and I wasn't down here very long. So I think I spent maybe a half hour. That's a, a UHC episode. That's how much gold you could get doing this. So please, if you decide to use it, see, this one led to that uh, hidden pool. Um, if you decide to use this technique, please give me credit for it. I hear people refer from time to time, oh, there could be diamonds behind the gravel or, you know, once in a while uh, mine out the stuff at lava layer because there could be diamonds behind it look at that didn't look at all like there was any gold there but they don't do it consistently i remember a conversation with paul sirs jr and uh what's his name luckily talking about yeah they use gravel to hide other stuff and that was really really early way back in their career in a very very prehistoric version of Minecraft that they said that they mentioned it and then they never pursued it and they never took it up as a behavior you know a habit to perform so anyway that's my thing I use bait ores and sometimes the bait ores will just send you to gold or lapis or redstone because remember those are still relatively scarce ores and in the old days were very precious I just put that in there because that skeleton was so derpy up that um, little ravine, I believe there's um, a skeleton spawner because skeletons kept falling in the water and drowning or falling in the lava and dying, trying to get to me, you know. 
So yeah, that's my thing is, look at now here it comes. I'm down at Lava Lair. First I see the redstone and I think, oh, that's what it's obscuring. But then I see that the gravel's going pretty deep. So instead of just digging up and getting the redstone for the XP, I decide to dig down. Always have water with you. You're, I'm below Lava Lair right now. I'm in no actual danger. There's no lava near me, it turns out. But I don't know that because... You know, there's rocks and gravel in the way. At any point now, lava could leak out on me. So, do the water thing. I'm having a hard time picking up items. I'm going to drop my shovel here because the zombie's going to come down and smack me. And I won't be able to pick it up. In fact, I won't be able to find it. There's the diamond. It's one diamond. On my Trixie tools, I put portion three on the pick. So, I'm going to have three diamonds out of that. I dropped the sword, can't find, I mean, excuse me, the um, shovel, and I can't find it. Now, see, there's bay doors down below near the diamond. If I'd come from that other direction, I would have said, oh, you know, those aren't very important and not dug around, but they were obscuring the diamond. And the same thing's going to happen with this diamond. I'm going to get it out, and I'm, it's all three of them, and I'm not going to be able to pick them up, no matter how much I clear my inventory. I cannot pick them up and I can't reload the game or it'll mess it up. There's something about all the command box and stuff, it won't come back right. So I can't log out. So the best thing I could do was to throw my map. See, I took the blocks out underneath hoping that maybe I'd be able to get to them from that layer. That didn't help um, by, you know, adjusting where the items were, where the entities were on the map by making them go lower. And then after I did the map thing, it seems to have helped because I picked up the diamonds. I guess I got two diamonds. There's my shovel, and I'm going to try to get it too. And there we go. So the map helped readjust things by going to the spawn. So now it's just a basic war on ender people. Every time I see one, I've got to kill them. It's not because I'm going to need pearls anymore. It's just a matter of principle at this point. This is my little base down below. I'm pretty much done now that I have the diamond. So building a few things out of stuff and realizing that I'm going to have to get back up on the surface pretty quick and start um, hunting. And that, you know, now I'm too tired. I'm glad that I went down low early while I could still think well or relatively well, but I'm too tired to go exploring up above. Look at all that gold. Huh, huh, huh. I swear I was only down here about 20 minutes. You can read my time on the side and tell me because I can't read it. It's in red and I'm too tired. And my eyes are sore. And here come my glass bottles. But it was torture up there from here on out once I get up on the surface. it was This was the majority of the video that I shot was me on the surface just trying to hunt down resources I need to complete the map. Actually, to tell you the truth, the emerald was easier for me to get than the leather for the book and quill. A little incident here, I did manage to shoot the zombie. I thought I'd killed the creeper. And then I just put this in here for fun. Whee! So you can see, feather falling three, dude. Man, if I ever get rich on a single player or on a let's play or what do you call it, survival world, and I can put protection three on feather falling boots, you darn right. I love having this tricked out equipment. I never have fancy equipment when I play. So, for me, this is a big treat. And then this just, you know, I don't believe in um, superstitions like the, the gold record is bad luck. So, just on general principles, because I'm a skeptic and stuff, and to disprove it, Mythbuster kind of thing, I had to make a jukebox. Oh, and I left this in just because I thought it was really cool that the witch uh, came by to deliver a potion and some glowstone, which otherwise I wouldn't be able to get in this without going to the nether and... That ain't gonna happen. See, it's a slideshow. I'm yeah, right. Always aim at always look at your crosshairs. Don't look at the creature. It's the only way you're gonna get them. I just filmed this so you could see I actually even got an apple. So I'm getting all the really cool stuff in the game. I got a saddle, name tags, all that good stuff, but wee I left that in just so I could show that I'm a show off.
So it's time to relax and enjoy a little music while I cook up my cactus and look for cows. I'm not kidding. Cows and chickens are pretty darn scarce on this map because you need them for resources. And I think since Brian tweaked the biomes and tweaked some other stuff and increased the dungeons, I wouldn't put it past him to decrease the number of cows and chickens that spawn. I don't make any value judgments about um, sad sadism, as that's your predilection. I just demand that it be um, consensual, and this is not, I did not consent to be underprivileged in the cow and chicken department, so I think this is very rude of him. I'm not saying he actually did decrease the number of cows and chickens, but I do notice people complaining a lot, particularly about the cow thing. I just left this in because the music is playing, and uh, you haven't seen me kill any cooties, so I thought, what the heck. Eee. My armor is so good, they can do anything they want, and I can just... I'm too... look at that. Why do I have x-ray? We're not supposed to be able to have x-ray anymore. Uh, I just left this in because I was so tired and so aggravated, it was just nice to beat cooties in the head. This map is really a lot of fun, and it's really interesting, and I got to explore biomes that I hardly ever get to see. Really rare biomes, like there's an ice spikes bi biome in here, and yeah, I'm always looking for that uh, high taiga one, what's it called? You know, the one that's got podzel and those green rocks and the really tall trees. I can't remember what it's called. I went through one of those in this map. Yeah, I don't get to see those enough. I like those. Didn't see a mushroom biome. I was kind of hoping for one because I thought, well, maybe that's how I'll get cows. I'm too tired to be playing anymore. And you notice I'm playing slideshow. It's just to the point now where I should probably not update the map. I do it because my memory's bad. But I think not updating the map will help make it easier for me to get through the bingo card. Uh, someday I would like to be able to play without my cheaty chest full of tricked out armor and tricked out tools. But for right now on this um, craptacular computer, uh, not being able to see well and so on, I don't want to waste a lot of time having to acquire food and stuff. Or Look, I worked as hard and as fast as I could on this and it took two and a half hours. Look, I'm so desperate I'm killing rabbits to try to get hide. And even that's hard. I got the egg and I forgot to get a chicken feather for the book and quill. I forgot. And of course now the rabbits aren't giving any hide. So, do I think this one's finally? Nope. I got two rabbit hides. That's all. Count them. One, two. And you need four. All of a sudden I'm going through this dark oak and boom, there's a melon. I'm like, really? Cool. Took me a while to craft it. I kept thinking, well, I should wait for this, that, or the other. You know, until I have to smelt something or something. But I think I was pretty much done with my smelting chores. And there wasn't any more mining to do. So uh, crafting is just something I'm just going to have to do. Not as a multitasking kind of a thing. Yeah, I think in the future I won't um, update the maps. I think that's a good idea. What I ought to do is take a screenshot of the map and maybe have it in a small window as I'm playing so that I can remember because my memory is so bad. I know other people make notes and stuff and have other screens open on their browsers while they're playing the game and so on. So I don't think that's really cheating. This is to show I'm going to the extreme hills for the emerald. It's almost like I went right to it. In fact, I went so fast I didn't notice it. I went right to it. I dug straight down and within 20 blocks of my two wide uh, hole that I went down, within 20 blocks, there it was. And here I get my squid ink, darn near drowned getting it, to make my book and quill. And this is a sad story, because at some point in the future, I don't know how, I let that out of my inventory. Notice I have torches this time. I did that so I could make pathways in when I was down in the basement getting stuff at Lava Lair so I could find my way back because it was kind of windy, it was Swiss cheese caves and I didn't want to get lost down at Lava Lair and not be able to find my base. 
So that's the main reason I made torches, but also because I almost drowned the last time I had squid. See? Ice spikes. And I'm so tired, I'm using crafting tables to pillar up there. I'm looking for cows, man. I'm looking for cows. And chickens again, because I think I've realized that I don't have a er, feather. And you won't give me a hide? I believe that one did. Yes, it did. Oh, and that poor little... I hate killing rabbits. That's just so... I don't like killing sheep either, you know. I don't know why I don't mind killing cows, I guess, because they're... And then just it happened to be, this is, went through the ice spikes, went through that forest, got that rabbit. I don't know why that rabbit, not another rabbit. I got that rabbit. I could have gone in another direction, got another rabbit, and I never would have seen any pumpkins. I just happened to go around the corner, and there they were. Uh, at this point, I was just about ready to give up. About the time I killed that black rabbit, I said, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to find all the resources. And I was so tired, and it was so hard to navigate now because, like I said, it's a slideshow. My um, mouse is not paying attention to me anymore, and I'm just obsessed with killing ender people now because I have really good armor, and why not? And I'm aggravated, and why not take it out on the ender people? I used to wouldn't kill ender people because one of them took a shot from a skeleton once that was shooting at me. And that ender person went and killed that skeleton. And when people came to my base, I said, you're not allowed to kill the ender people because they saved my life for a long time. Even when I was playing single player months later. Look at that, spider jockey. So I left in all the good stuff. I left out most of the craptacular stuff that you've seen a million times. Lots of witches, too. Of course, you know, the longer you play, the crazier the mobs get. I'm not dissatisfied with my time, two and a half hours. Oh, I wanted to kill the other person. You know, we did all that. That's great. Yeah. Oh, I guess I did get a pearl. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mainly I'm doing this to practice and to try to keep up with the other people. I like the Reddit there and I've met some people and subscribed to some channels as a result of watching their videos. Yeah, I put polka dots on my ender people so I can see them. I put polka dots on my... I turned my um, skeletons purple and put polka dots on them so I could see them too. I want you to see how beautiful my pigs are. Aren't they pretty? Yes, I know. You're so cute. Oh, this is my own customized version of Simple Craft Texture Pack with the modified crosshair and oh the problem with the purple skeletons though is that I also have purple cows random forest fire uh, coarse dirt that I've never seen before and I hear chickens by some weird stroke of luck I hear chickens thank you so the cows and the skeletons are pretty much the same color and I kept chasing skeletons hoping they were cows but they never were so I got away excess of bones needless to say now I'm going to try to make a book and then I'm going to realize that I don't have ink sacks no it's not here it's a little later oh I was so broken hearted when I saw I'd accidentally gotten rid of my ink sack I was just devastated and just happened to be right around the corner from the chickens. Boom, there were cows. Holy guacamole. I mean, I almost gave up. I almost gave up. I almost gave up before the emerald. And then I almost gave up after that second rabbit. And I saw it was getting to be really hard to get rabbit hide. I almost gave up and I went around that corner and saw the pumpkins. I kept at this point almost giving up and thinking it's just too hard. I can't do it did take an excessively long time which is why it took me hours to edit this because I wasn't going to subjugate you to subject you to that because it was just brutal trying to make the book and then I see what happened to my ink sack why do I have a bow I mean I have my bow it's an infinity bow by the way why do I have that other bow and now I'm finding pumpkins everywhere <laughs> so at this point I'm all I don't care if I drown, I'm going to get a squid. It doesn't have to be pretty, I'm going to get a squid. 
took me a long time to even find these squid. I was in that taiga eat place, and apparently squids don't like to spawn where there's ice around, you know, because ice is near the shore, you're near the shore, and squids uh, only spawn within so many blocks of you. So if there's ice in the way, they can't spawn. So here I am in way too deep water again, getting my freaking ink on. <laughs> I was so glad to see that ink. I can't tell you. I almost cried when I opened up that crafting table and saw I could not build that book. Oh, I just, I was like, really? I was so glad to drown that rabbit hide. I was like, you stay underwater. I am so through with you. So I will get better at this. I don't think two and a half hours is too bad. Brian took over an hour. Um, and he's got a good computer and he can see, I think. I mean, he seems to be able to see. So, I'm not too ashamed of this. I think I did pretty well. Like I said, the main problem was... I did okay on the diamond. The diamond didn't take me more than about 20, maybe 30 minutes to find. And then I threw my sword. And then I forgot. I just won the game. But I forgot I'd won the game. I went diving for my sword. And then I'm all like, why am I doing this? Forget it. So <laughs> almost drowned again. I've won the game. I mean, I've not won the game, but I've completed the map. So that's Minecraft Bingo. Please click, like, subscribe, share, comment, tell your friends. Go to Brian's website, his Minecraft Reddit. I mean, his Reddit for Minecraft Bingo. And if you're not sub to his channel, I'm not kidding. You really need to sub Brian's channel. It's a really good way to learn the game. And there is my card, and I'm worn. I'm so worn out. I'm facing the wrong way, and oh yeah, I need to click that button. You know, I spend so much time in this little lobby. I'm gonna decorate it the way I like. I don't like glowstone. I'm gonna fix it up the way I want it. And then I write, I'm completely exhausted, but I did it. Stick around. I'll get better. Try it. I'm really serious. Try it. It's a lot of fun. It, it'll it make you feel a little nuts, but it's a lot of fun. See you later. I'd hug you, but my arms don't bend. Bye.